Excuse me, Miss Santangelo. Yes. I was instructed to deliver these to you personally. Thank you. Another admirer. Let's get back to what we were talking about. There's nothing left for me to say, Lucky. G knows your father. He's coming home. You've just got to accept it. I do accept it. I knew he'd be back eventually. As soon as you fixed it with the IRS. Oh, Costa, you know as well as I that he's never going to give me credit for building the hotel. Yes, he will. No, he believes that a woman's place is in the home. Barefoot and pregnant. He's not going to believe I put this together. But I did it, Costa. I made it happen. And they'll give you all the credit you deserve. You think so? Yes, I do. All my life, I've tried to please Gino. I just want him to appreciate what I'm capable of achieving. I don't know. I want us to be a family again. I'm his daughter and I love him. If he can't accept what I've done, then there's going to be a power struggle. You know something, Lucky? What? You and your father. You're exactly alike. Does that mean I have an appointment? Lang? Gino. Surname. Huh? Santangelo. S-A-N-T-A-N-G-E-L-O. Kindly wait here. Call me Gino. Oh, thank you so much. Nice ritzy setup you got here. I'm glad you approve. Hey, what's not to like? So, uh, you want to see me? Perhaps you'd like to sit down. Yeah. You seem to be a very interesting young man, Gino. I get a few laughs. My husband and I would like you to supply the liquor for our party next Saturday. Obviously, our guests are used to the finest. In the past, we've been sold bathtub gin, watered-down whiskey, all kinds of bootleg hooch. I'm sure you only supply quality merchandise. Oh, yeah, Mrs. Duke. My stuff is the best. Well, we'll need two cases of scotch, gin, brandy, champagne, of course. 
No problem. Anything you want, I got. Good. Yeah. And for your trouble, Mr. Duke and I would like to invite you to be a guest at the party. Black tie, eight o'clock. Can I count on you? You can count on me any time you want to, Mrs. Duke. Call me Clemmy. Good man. Inside all of you, I have a room for you to wait in until you're needed. What, we ain't joining the party? And what's the matter with her? Nothing. She's just fine. She's overcome at the sight of you gorgeous. Hey, anybody ever tell you you're one good-looking guy? Follow me, please. <laughs> San Angelo. I'm Oswald Duke. Oh, hi. I wasn't sure if Mrs. Duke mentioned me or not. Oh, yes. My wife tells me everything. Absolutely everything. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Come join the party. Oh, good evening, Gino. I'm delighted you were able to make it. Hey, I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> Place looks terrific. Oh, thank you. We think so. Hey, who wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring a date? Was I supposed to? Oh, surely there's some young lady in your life. Someone special. They come, they go. You know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. I'd like you to come visit me next week. I think you have a very exciting future. I want to be part of it. Hmm? Oswald, darling, I think this is going to be a very amusing evening. <laughs> oh, good. It's time for my special entertainment. Will both of you excuse me, please? Thank you. Shut up, Mrs. Angela. Will everyone take their seats, please? It's time for my show. I do hope everyone will enjoy it because I have arranged it just for your pleasure. So sit back, relax, and above all, have fun. Oh, 